If I look at the future of cotton, I think it's very positive. Let's look at the facts. In 1960, when I started out in the cotton trade, world consumption was 46 million bales. And everybody told me not to go in the cotton business because nylon shirt just came out. And that was supposed to be the end of the cotton business. Well, nothing could have been further from the truth. than today, we are consuming 120 million bales. And the world population is now 7 billion and growing. So all this tells me that the consumption of cotton is going to continue to grow. I think the future is very bright, and Jeff Smith & Sons is going to be part of that future. California, I think the outlook here is also positive. Yes, we used to produce 3 million bales, and now we are down to 1 million bales. However, we are producing a certain crop that's called Pima cotton and long stable Akela varieties. California has the perfect climate for this type of cotton and the demand for this is growing. The production is growing up. Where we used to produce two million bales of cotton, we are now at three million bales. That's the norm. And in many cases, we are producing four million bales. So the growers that stayed with cotton farming in California, in my opinion, shall do extremely well. It's a wonderful industry, very exciting. Uh, sometimes, obviously, I could have done with a lot of less excitement. I was given the opportunity to serve as president in, of the American Cotton Shippers Association. For that, I'm very grateful. By the way, there were two other gentlemen that came from Bremen, Germany, who also served as president of the American Cotton Shippers Association, namely Mr. Peter Hirschfeld and Manfred Schiefer. I would like also to thank the Memphis Cotton Museum for allowing me to share a few remarks about my involvement with the cotton industry, the trade specifically. Thank you.